Hello. The timer is up. I have some stalling to do because I forgot to download the demos. But it is round one, round review. And uh, yeah, it was an absolutely incredible week. Welcome back to XCWC. We are one week in and that feels like we're solidly, you know, we're really back because we've got a round review. We've got a whole round behind us under the belt. The warm up effectively is done. Let's take a look at some stats. We've got a uh, server activity. This is total server activity. To l I'm not sure quite how much time you've got to spend for this to be uh, actually running, but because uh, on Zon stats you've got to finish the map for it to count. But we have the DE server, the most popular, the BR server. That's pretty much entirely DES. US servers getting a lot of use. Really good to see that the US servers, like the three US servers were put up and that they're all fairly popular. Uh, are you getting a hell of a lot of playtime? Um, oh, hell, actually, I just only just realised that that's weeks. Are you getting a lot of playtime? It's only put up halfway through the week. So yeah, DE getting absolutely mad amounts. But there's two DE servers and that's probably helping. We've got some chat activity, which I'm not entirely sure how visible that's going to be. Oh, this is CTS records per hour. Never mind, this isn't chat activity. So yeah, records, as you can see right at the end, it just cuts off. Good amount of records. You can see the peaks of each day, obviously, in different time zones as well. For the different servers this one is number of players again same sort of peaks as the uh, previous one pretty good at 232 players I believe the most ever uh, 284 Wow 284 the most players in any round in XDWC we uh, love a few more minutes on the download Let's actually just paste this. So yeah, this is uh, top 20. Spoiler alert of the countries. I'm not going to scroll over. There's our top three. Uh, well, these are the continental champions of... that didn't make the top 20. It's a pretty good roll time, yeah, so that means that it's, everything's very pa tightly packed together. I would hazard a guess that the, uh, it was map 1 last year that would have been the highest. Maybe not the top 50, actually. So, cause effectively, this year, compared to last year, the top 50 has become the top... Uh, sorry, the top 30 has become the top 50 this year. If we scroll down to, like, the 50th place, you're getting guys like Dez, who came 25th last year. Uh, Wirt, who was in top 30. Me, I was 24th, just in front of Dez. Banano was up in the top 20. BW was up in the top 10. Vert was, going, you know, we've almost doubled in a lot of places. And the... The nice thing about this is that it's not all come in like chunk at the top or anything and knocked loads of people down. There's people in here. But 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 there's people in here. You know, there's people in every section of this and having 200 odd people set a time round one. Amazing. You know. That amount of people. I mean, even if the time... Like, seven minutes is actually not bad for the slowest time that we've seen. Three points. Like, we see genuine times less than three points uh, in previous years. So, that is really good. The map was very la well laid out. There's the map creator himself. Yeah, let's just have a look. You know, you're coming up. Some nice bots there. A lot of names. A lot of names. We've had a lot of... So this was kind of the, the cut-off point. We said either 
you're a regular-ish player, you'll get a sub-minute time pretty quick. Or, if you're a non-regular player, you'll get a sub-minute time if you grind. So this was our happy cut-off point, then the 50 second was kind of the regulars with a good grind. Then after that, depended on your exact skill levels. A lot of good players, okay, I have spoiled it, I tried tried not to, just realised I did. Most people have looked at the results, but what you won't have seen yet is the runs. We've got runs in two minutes once the files are downloaded, because I forgot to download them. Absolute muppet. Really cool to see that a lot of new, fully new players, you know, the, like... We really are something I said last year. I said, Dizzy's an absolute god. I really wanted last year, while there wasn't an XD, uh, a Quake 3 Defrag World Cup happening, for some of the players to come across and play their trade over here. And they have this year because the Quake 3 Cup's been delayed. They've come over and they've been roundly beaten by PH. A uh, Zenotic player, quite live a Zenotic player, plays a lot of Zenotic at the minute, rank one in regular season. You know, but then you got top strafers, goblins, source, delta, top guys from Quake 3, all in here, all in here. With our top guys, you know, our top tenors from last year, mixed in with some of theirs. It's good, it's really good getting more people looking at this game because I've been someone who plays all the games all of the uh, all of the quake like games over the years and I just think just find a you don't need if you need to find one game make it your main game but if someone says oh do you want to play this don't say oh no no I can't do that rubbish should play it have some fun don't have to be too serious about it but a lot of people saying oh yeah the thing that they really liked is the fact that we're playing online which is quite cool that they liked the fact that we're onlining do i even have enough storage space Onlining is definitely a double-edged sword. Um, on the one hand, it's, it's, yeah, you get lag, and that sucks for some people. Some people are going to have worse lag than others, and that, that is a crap part of the online experience, playing online like we do. But at the same time, being able to see other people's times, being able to see, being able to just chat to people, you know, it really, to me, from playing Synotic all year on the regular servers, and then you come and play XDWC, and I think it, the way Synotic's set up, because this isn't a mod it's kind of a server side thing that's also built into the main game but a lot of the configs are server sided in fact if you want to play this current map offline at uh, map 2 you have to install a git package pk3 for mapping because it's got some stuff that's not in the main line yet and stuff like that so it's really confusing to do it's Whereas Defrag is very much built for offline first, and then people have added online after. But in doing so, we've ended up with a weird system of it's not quite right between the two. And it's impossible to get a online and offline comparison type thing. Ah, we've loaded. Extract. 
Oh god, we've got to wait for it to extract now. Sorry about this. It's um, it's not going too well. I'd take you through the old map, but I haven't been able to get it to load. Uh, prop load very well offline. And I don't want to break anything. <laughs> We're a very delicate setup right now. In fact, let's reset Zenotic up. Rejoice! Rejoice indeed! Oh, that's not going to work. Live configuring the HUD. That's probably going to come down a bit more. Oop. Yeah, that's better. There we go. That looks better. I probably do need to set up some sort of proper HUD type thing for commentating delete the things that don't need to be here I'm not really sure what to do maybe I should just nick um, nick morrows <laughs> I should turn that off fifty eight percent extracted Stretch. disabled cool Cool, cool, cool. That bling for people watching the YouTube was my 15 minute take a stretch uh, timer. So yeah, while we wait for this to extract, I'm just going to do some runs. This is map 2 by the way, um, if you are watching the stream in the future and aren't quite sure what's going on. This is map 2, we're about to see map 1 in some demos, we'll go through it with the first few. Um, ah. I, this is actually my first time playing, properly playing map one, uh, map two. I'm getting very confused by what I'm doing. I played it to do the intro beginner's guide thing. And I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Has anybody else, by the way, had uh, not getting a... Ah. Not getting a rocket launcher there because I had it earlier. I'm not quite sure what happened. I had in I had the entirety of my HUD turned off while I was doing it and just didn't get a rocket launcher. Oh, that was crap. Ha! It's extracted. Right. We shall leave multiplayer. We shall swap to the game. Media. XTWC. That one is dizzy. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's why it's 5 gig. The demos aren't in order. Shit. <laughs> What's the difference between capture and not capture? The first one that we've got is Rainbow Shadow. Let's try capture first. See what that does. We're kind of winging it this week. I have not properly set up. I will be completely honest. Here we go, though. Oh, shit. No, don't do that. So the capture one will run a video file creation. Don't run capture. Whoops. <laughs>
Very clever setup though. I will right now the the behind the scenes of all of this stuff is incredible on the server sided end. I will ask Moro for some um, for some info and he will just send me it. And it's all wonderfully packaged. And then I break it by doing things like this. <laughs> And m literally manually create all of these names. Manually created. But anyway, here we go. Our first run. This is the one we'll be using to go through. Oh, God damn it. Right. Arrow up. Arrow. I swear I do this every time. Right. This is the one we will use to show off the map. So we're going left. Oh, I forgot to ask everybody whether we thought we were going left or right. We try to hit a down ramp here. We jump over. We get another down ramp there. I'm trying to work out where I lost all my speed and it's like, oh, okay, there's 100 there, there's 100 there. <laughs> We're already like 200. We could go left just before this section, but most people I believe are going to be going through this section rather than going off to the slick route, which if we see it, interesting choice of route there, actually. You rarely see people change there, so that, that uh, re-merges, the start and um, both sides re-merge. And you rarely see people change. If they go left, they'll go left again. So, yeah, that's pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, I need this file up so that I can find out who to search for next. Um... Forty-five, six, six. I'm gonna have to search times. Oh, wait, forty-five, sixty-four. There we go. Yeah, searching for times. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, one less side switch. Didn't think about that. But to be fair, I side switched so much. Wait, did Snow really finish and then PB? That's mad. Although, to be fair, I keep saying PB's coming too, so... Because they do. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... It's one of those things that I don't even think about because I'm side-switching on that... Where where that's... Like, one... Oh, it's one less side-switch. I'm side-switching three times across that bridge anyway. And then... Probably setting up, like, I'm side-switching, I've side-switched, and then I'm, like, from halfway across the bridge, I'm setting up for taking the corner. So, side-switching. Oh, nice spacing there. Nice spacing. And should that, I believe, is the best possible down-ramp setup you can get. The first and the last. It means you get the maximum number of down-ramps, but you also... Oh, shit. You also get the maximum time with the down ramps. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to point out the overlay because I am going to forget it. J height up next. Was this slick, J height? Great music for this. A lot of runs ended that way. A lot of runs ended that way. Nice start setup. Good start. Now that's what we're looking for. We're looking at right, landing on right at the bottom so you gain speed. This currently looks like my start. Now it doesn't. <laughs> I, like, I know exactly what's going to happen here. It is about 10 units a second to improve. But that's the difference between like. There's very little difference between everybody. Like like we said, it's the second 
smallest gap in the top 50 relative time which means percentage of time i really like this route this was the route that took me to most of my pbs and uh yeah i nicked it a really nice time there from j height next up we have ferrius come on can't type oh quite soon into the play session here didn't have too long to wait yeah 2.4k off the slick is pretty high i was usually running about the best i got was 2.3 It's so weird looking at that backwards. Oh, interesting. Go through that middle section. So the reason that I think, I, well, we'll see what happens. But the reason most people weren't going through that middle section was because for one, it could bounce you quite high. And for two, by going wider, you kept more speed and it was kind of a better setup for the next corner. But it, it's one of those things that could be faster, but are you willing to put the commitment in to make it absolutely just? Yeah, the chat's quite entertaining, but yeah. And apparently it hasn't worked anyway. This one's late into the grind session. This one is late into the grind session. Various, by the way, our previous um, previous runner is the one, if I remember rightly, that made me that uh, script. Unless I'm doing a very much disservice, it may have been Mirio. I feel like it was a different bot. Anyway, thank you to whoever the hell made me that script. <laughs> the great script. Absolutely magic. Yeah, so this is kind of what I think I saw and heard most people doing, going very wide. It was giving them the best spacing through there. So... I should mention the difference, just in case you didn't know um, the difference between the slick and non-slick route. The key difference between the slick and the non-slick route, as we found out quite late on, by we, I mean, me, Des and J-Height. Um, so the slick takes away your uh, haste, your speed, your extra acceleration. That's the key difference. It's slightly longer, the slick route, but then you get the slick, so you think, oh, I'll make it up, because you'll keep the speed. Whoops. <laughs> Turns out you can play this game for a very long time and still be an idiot. Oh, it's a last-minute run. My favourite. I still can never forget my... Uh, Two years ago, I think 2021, literal last second, cross the line, server ended on the last, last, uh, last run of the evening. And that was my PB. It was the last second you could possibly get a PB. Very clean there. Nicely held from ECAS. I'm trying to spot some of the differences. It's difficult to see because I think everybody's playing in a very similar way because they're playing Xenotic. But 
I'm trying to spot the differences. So right now we've got Gibbs, primarily a uh, Warsaw race player. Previously we had Ecas, primarily a Zanotica. In fact, everyone up to Snow, everyone up till now except for Snow has been primarily a Zanotica. And we're going to skip a couple actually after we've done this. We're going to go backwards. Just realised something I need to do. Uh, yeah. So it's interesting to see kind of the, the difference in play style. I don't know. I mean, Gibbs looking up to the sky, that's not a particularly Warfork thing. That's just kind of how he seems to play. Zonoticist. Zonisticians was the one that we used uh, last time. The Alex tournaments during lockdown. Entertainment for locked in Zonisticians. Yeah, really nice end there. Good spacing. You get it or you don't. Right, we're going to go back in time. We're no longer doing... Uh, so the next person up is Nero, but we're not doing that anymore. We're going to... Uh... Oh. Hey. Crap. How many demos were in that um, demo dump? Oh, of course it is, yeah. One. Oh, oh one. What's it going to be? Oh, 100, maybe. Nah, 57. So, what I'm trying to do... See if I can find it with this. I'm try I'm trying to find stakes run. See if I've got forty nine. No, it's only the top twenty, I think. Never mind. What I was trying to do. I realised I should probably do the top of the, um... The top of the Continentals. And go watch, so Steak, uh, Woodgizer, and Des. The non-top 20s, but Continental tops. So I'll in investigate getting those demos for next week. And Desi's going to have his record shown. Partially, because actually, just straight up looking at the times, Des and Wujiza are one second apart, just over one second apart. And then ten seconds behind that is... Oh, it's static, not steak. I've been saying steak. <laughs> I'm good with names. I'm well good with names. That was a good run from Nero. It was clean. Um, we've kind of got a lot of the same between each run. It would be... You'd, you'd notice quite a difference, I think, if we jumped from 20th to 10th. Which is still under a second. But you'll notice quite, quite a big difference. I think here, you realistically, you'll notice certain... Certain sections are faster and certain sections are slower and you'll notice just small things like this is going to come out with 2000, 1200 when um, when over you're going to finish this section with like 1700 when we get to here versus previously maybe having 1650. Is this compounding 50 here, 50 there and then keeping gaining that and keeping that speed that's that's kind of does it. And then it gives you better spacing for certain sections. That's 
incredibly tight getting back on the gas quickly really nice here one of the main things that becomes obvious as you watch these demos go up and up oh, so close to that extra extra down ramp yeah one of the things i think mainly becomes uh more and more populous as you go through these runs is how it becomes less trying to find the spacing and more i have this spacing i have to go for it you know there's certain sections on my run that i was going for that um the reason i reference my run is because i spent an entire week doing it but also i kind of consider myself in the mid tier uh mostly based on the fact that everyone around me is consistently good but we are very much like once i got to this point it was all about guessing and hoping and if i whatever i got you know i got what i got and i'd adjust it on the fly whereas a fast run you have to just commit you have to say i'm gonna get this i'm gonna do it because otherwise you're gonna slow down and so we're now going to see the difference if you were paying attention to that last one of 0 0.01 Yeah, only middle ramp, but um, Vert just before hit only first ramp and then missed second ramp. I think only middle ramp is going to have a few runs. Because realistically... It's 90% before it. You don't get that much speed off of each of those ramps. And you're only with it for such a short amount of time. You know? You get maybe 100, 150 off of them. Which is it's just decent. But you're with it for such a short amount of time. That it kind of pales in comparison to a better hit there. You know, you get a better hit there like... Uh, we just see here. Jump. Bounce. Jump. Now that is interesting. Because I... So from looking at that versus previously ADRs. 0 0.01 difference remember. All I could see there was better. But there must have been strafe percent. Stuff like that that went and brought it down. So it's really difficult to look at these and see what the differences are and to figure out exactly where the time was lost it can often be difficult to figure out where you've lost your your own speed when you're in your own demo Oh, that was really nice. Getting th that was so clean, getting through the zigzag. And then getting more of the double jump rather than the ramp jump. So losing much less speed. And then a really smooth AD turn. A little bit of a hard hit, but I, I wonder if that's going to start being intentional, actually. The hard hit there. Like a tiny bit more of a hard hit on the on the side ramp to get further up. To get over to the next section. Rather than what most people have been doing before, which is just about making it over, or trying to bounce once on the inner ra on the like top of the stairs. So let's see CJ again, since everyone's. Nice. 
Do we are into the top 10? I completely missed that we're into the top 10. We have another 0 0.01. This time we have Shinx. 0 .00, uh, 0 .00, yeah, 0 0.01. It was an incredible start. Oh, we've got a circle jump the other way. See, that was interesting because that wasn't an excellent circle jump, but it was it was strafed well enough because there's such a difficult thing with the spacing on this map with that up ramp right at the start. Really difficult to get... Like, there's kind of a speed cap. You can go too fast and you can hit straight into the up ramp. Yeah, it does, does explain it. Very nice, though. Very nice. As well, though, that's another one of the things with playing online with the way that kind of Xenotic works. Because splits reset, we saw a 0.66 improvement at the end. There was no real splits going through there. Here we have Delta. Yeah, there was, there was no real splits for Shinx. Delta seems to have some pretty good splits. I mean, we're 70 minutes in. Didn't see too much of that. I don't know if it was probably... Maybe 40 minutes of playtime on the demo before. Couldn't quite see... I didn't, well, I didn't check to see when we started. So... But yeah, no end splits again. So some people will quit to clear their splits as well. Some people don't like racing against difficult splits, especially since they're gold splits to each section. Really nice time there, though. Double down ramps, I think we're guaranteed them from now in. We're guaranteed proper double down ramps. J-Height, though, sticking it with the only slicker in the top 20. This is going to be the interesting thing. We we don't have any jumps. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Dizzy's run. Then we're going to go back to Rainbow's run. 20th place. And then we'll go again. Very nicely done, TQ. A lot of what I'm noticing now is that... Oh, shit. That was TQ. Sorry. Next up, Knight. Knight is entirely my... I don't want to say Dizzy, because that's the boring answer. And I'm kind of hoping that we, that, well, if all of the Quake 3 players either leave or can't figure out our weapons, Knight's definitely got a good position. Knight already calling Bad Run. Bad Run gets you fifth these days, apparently. But yeah, if you you look to the sort of the start of these, everyone so far has been super tight at the start, and it's kind of started to fall apart here. Obviously, you have to be super tight through here, but people losing more and more speed. Then here, maybe losing speed while doing that circle, uh, big wide turn. Here, not getting on the accelerator through that little section. 
hitting into this. You know, now we're getting to the bits where really Knight is absolutely tight. Tight, tight, tight to the um, to the walls, to the everything, taking the corners really nicely. And it's, I mean, we're what? We're under half a second now. We're well under half a second in the top five. I got the wrong time diffs because I got the time diffs from the guy above. Overlay, thank you. Source up next. Nice long grind on this one before we get in, so we should have some decent. Uh... Some decent splits. Ooh, that was such a good up. That, that must have been two pixels away from the bottom of that ramp, the very, very, like, corner. Yeah, I mean, we were starting off and we were coming around here and getting 2,000 units out of this. Now we're in 2,300. This is... Yeah, I think Knight's corner there was a little bit clean, a little bit less speed loss, but maybe it was made up for by being a bit tighter. Nicely over. That's going to be a pretty nice landing for the two double ramps. Nice. Very, very clean. Very small up upgrade here. 0 0.04. Yeah, it was a... No way. Over like goblin, goblin going slick. Absolute mad lad. There is no way he went slick every other route, only to fail it on purpose. To then PB. That would be the greatest troll I've ever seen. Either that, or it just happened. There wasn't Goblin, or was it Source? So, yeah, someone said... Oh, it was Goblin doing, doing the different spacing thing. I know someone was trying to work it out. We now break a second barrier. With PH, Pot Hunter. The big PH. <laughs> the man who overtaken Dizzy in the relaxed running records leaderboard. But will he be able to take it for the entirety of XDWC? We haven't seen too much from him on weapons maps. Most of the points in uh, relaxed running come from short kind of... 10 to 20 second strafe four maps and honestly this man makes the very very difficult strafe maps with technical spacing makes them look easy in the relaxed running setup and it's stuff like that where you could bonk on every single one of those stairs and he makes it look like you couldn't It's just, I mean, with that's ridiculously bad spacing for bonking straight into that. I was about to say, he had 200 speed more than I saw Knight went into that section with. He went in with a just shy, uh, when he hit that ramp, just shy of 2,400 and Knight was just into the 2,200s I think so really solid but just so the main thing is there's a lot of height play here I think so coming around this corner Goes really wide here to keep up and to get that spacing perfect. 
to then land super deep here, get that to not even really get up the stair, kind of. That, I'm surprised didn't lose more speed, but there we go, that's just kind of how it goes. This was super clean at the bottom there, really nice spacing there. But then you DJ that and you just send it for a minus 200 speed. Like, poof, poof. Do I still have? Yes, I do. Okay, we can slow most stuff. Just got to remember when to do it because can't go backwards. All right then, dizzy time. With a 0.21, so after the difference of that run, has Dizzy just done what PH did, but not buggered the end? Here we go. I don't think you get 0.21 quite even from not buggering that end, though. Maybe you would. This is Dizzy, so Dizzy's just knocked down this time. It was a mad, mad server set, knocking down this time. And at this point, apparently the server best was uh, 4370, which is interesting. So that must have been Dizzy's, oh, that must have been Dizzy's record before. But yeah, he set a load of PBs. Look how tight he is to that wall. Beautifully taken. Just right on the spacing. And I want everyone who's new to this game and is just learning how Strafe HUD works, look how close Dizzy is to the edge of that green bar. Just touching it, caressing it. Really nice double jump. Lost quite a lot of speed there, but good spacing. Gets the double down ramp across the line. Let's watch that one more time. Just clinical. Yeah, double jumping for spacing. Getting low double jumps. These are the sort of things... I mean, the people that I'm, I'm saying about in chat right there are the guys that are in the top 10, in the top 20, and like top, top guys. And they're surprised about all of this. But these are the things that I think, having watched all these Dizzy records, they're the things where I think Dizzy just looks at the route and says, I am going to send it. And I am only going to go for it. I think he's crouching someone who's slightly better as Nautic than me. You get better AD while you're crouching. But also, I think he... Crouching there uh, is probably panicking. <laughs> crouching brings your head down rather than your legs up. I... I'm not 100% sure on that better AD, so I'm please... The crouch AD is a myth. Right. My information for that comes from... CTF. I've got a load of stuff I should cast. Huh. Right, let's go back over to Rainbow with a 4466. So let's see, this is the gap of the top 20. It's only... Da, 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 da. It's just under two seconds. Just a tiny, tiny bit shy of two seconds. This start of Rainbow's run is classical of most people's actual experience running. Just buggering up the CJ and restarting and falling off the edge of the back. Oh yeah, because you'll actually hit the ceiling on the zigzag ramp. Mad. 
But here we can see what I was saying. So the zigzag, actually zigzagging it. Uh, parts of this, you know, having to readjust spacing because it's not quite, you know, everything's not quite going right. Not getting back on the gas there. Little bit of an overturn. Coming up here, having to take a bounce, then getting a middle ramp. Managing to get a middle, two ramps after a middle ramp. But it's those tiny things where the further down you go, the less perfect you are and the more you have to adjust for that. And it's, you're making the run up on the fly, whereas the top guys are literally, this is the run I'm going to get. I have to get this. Rainbow was definitely doing that at the start. Once we got to the big up ramp that takes you through the bit, gives you slick, and then you've got the, uh, sorry, haste, and then you've got the split split for zigzag and slick. That point was where Rainbow started to have to adjust. Things weren't quite right. But yeah, incredible, incredible run. I want to see what pH lost, actually. No, that's not how you do it. I want to have a look what pH lost. 43. There's only two of them. <laughs> right. We've got 47.98. I've got some extras. Right, when we're going to come, I want to have a look at a couple of points of this run. So this is PH's run. Jump. Bang, bang. Bonk. You can see he's going for absolute pixel spacing, so we do... Oh shit, hold on. Okay, so here, we're coming in, and we get a pretty nice, but just clipping that, she gets the perfect spacing to come over to here, skip that, if you look just left, and then right, and he's going to just graze the bottom of that. And that's why Dizzy was crouching, to get a tiny bit more airtime, which is going to give you, when you come around here, probably a slight bit better spacing, I would think. That ramp hit there. Then you come in round here. Pretty meaty ramp hit right there. Now we get to the bit that I don't think he wanted to hit that there. I think he wanted to completely clean all the way to either this wooded section or the grass. But then we're coming in here. It's still gaining speed. That's incredible. Look how crisp these turns are that you're still gaining speed. And oof. 2,500 to one. Th sorry, 2,350 to 1,970. Ooh, that's painful. That is absolutely painful. I mean, if he'd have hit that with that much speed and managed to keep that speed, like most people were losing speed from, uh, from that section, I, he'd have he'd have one ramped it. He'd have hit the first ramp and that was it, or maybe second. Uh, maybe like the set, he'd have hit the second ramp like we saw Vert do. That that is a proper BB World record. Now let's slow mo dizzies. Now I've realised that I actually have s how slow mo works. Super nice start there. How many? 
for the like super top guys, how many of you were hitting that first ramp? And yeah, just a tiny bit tighter. And allowing to land on this section here. How many of you were hitting that first ramp every once in a while and like not landing at the bottom of it, over jumping it and crashing, or is that just not really possible? Because most of the times I felt like I would have done that. Here's the here's the section. So gets a double jump more than a ramp jump. Crouching, giving a little bit more airtime. Not hitting anything. PH ramp hit was 38.4. Cracking. So losing a little bit of speed, but not really that much. And now it's stabilised and now we're gaining speed. And then that's, that's pretty good. It's not in... You know... That's a, it's better than PH's was, which I think you just kind of couldn't get the spacing for that. Like Dizzy said, you were crouching to try and get a tiny bit better. This, that's super clean. Uh, PH got 1.5G. Dizzy, I think we saw, only pulled 1.1. Double jumping there, super low double jump. And then... 38.4 was the ramp hit from PH. Dizzy loses a hell of a lot less speed with a 38.3, I think I saw it land at. Cleans it over there. Bit of a crouch. Boom. Boom. World record. Nicely done. I had the wrong bloody overlay on. Absolutely mad there from Dizzy. Incredible from everyone, really. It was super, super tight. I, I mean, the records going back and forth. Let me pull them up. Uh, I still have Taikisma as my saved thing. Round one. So, I mean, if we look at the... Doo -doo -doo, where's my screen? There it is. If we look at the distribution here... We can see, like, a lot of records, a lot of records at the top end. You know, there's a lot of bunching up in the kind of really fast zone. Really close up in the top end. Then if we go here, let me just turn on Dizzy PA. So these are the records. It's going to be a bit bit skewed but this is your top 20 this is how the records went so you know it's a bit skewed by the people who kind of set a, a whatever record scout out the map but they obviously you know two runs later up in the mix but it's super close and there's a lot of back and forth and it's definitely it's amazing to see this kind of back and forth versus what we saw last year with a lot of you could t you could see people stayed in their same place whereas this is back and forth all the way down here yeah Dizzy's kind of held the world record but we all thought that was an incredible time and it got forced it got forced to be pushed and to be pushed and to be pushed an absolutely incredible section Oh yeah, Dizzy doing a 44.5 in an hour. But that's one of those things, I think, that also... Like, Dizzy... Always seems to pick up the map really quickly. Like, hell. The first run that you have on record is a 45. Pretty good. You know, like Rainbow Shadow. Put out feelers. Yeah, it's it's incredible the sort of some I think it's it's a difference of play style as well and a difference of personality or not personality but mindset, something like that. I don't quite know the word to think of, but whether you can come into a map and already see where you're going and then now it's just taking those little bits out or 
do you have to go again and again and again and again and you have to sort of look at every detail again and again and again to even get some understanding of a map i'm definitely that second part like i'm i do the beginner guides partially for other people because when i started playing xdwc i didn't know where i was going i got lost i quit maria bullied me back on um but also because actually i'm gonna walk around the map very gently anyway just to take everything in that's kind of something that i just do take everything in but yeah we got some oh yeah i can do this Let's see if we can zoom in there we go so yeah you see all these back and forth and back and forth and everybody trending upward who's that No. Nero. No. Who on earth is that line? Oh, it's Rainbow. Rainbow just jumped. <laughs> Rainbow just didn't, either didn't PB or didn't have time to play. I'm going to say that's weekend to weekend, so probably didn't have time to play. Nice. Anyway, thank you very, very, very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to commentate this. We go now. Let's do the ceremonial change of the thing. Uh, where's it gone? I've lost it all. We go now. I've lost it all. There we go. It's around two. There's round two. See you next week. Thank you very much to everybody. Incredible, incredible, incredible uh, playing. We hopefully will see some more next week. See you later.